In New York City, Morgan Stanley employees are allowed to remote work for the day for, as an all-out for Palestine rally in Times Square near banks headquarters presents security risks, according to Bloomberg. New York City will do whatever it takes to keep our people safe, said Mayor Eric Adams, he told reporters on Thursday. Uh, outside of Israel, New York City has the largest Jewish population and already... Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Democratic Socialist of America, have held pro-Palestinian rallies in Times Square. I'll ask my question one more time. I asked it earlier today. And I, I am curious about this. This is not about being, I'm not trying to start a fight. I'm, I'm curious. Um, how is it that you're not outraged that the pro-Palestinian crowd is chosen this, chosen this soon? The bodies aren't even buried. Not all of the bodies are found. There are still people that are being kept hostage and yet they're having pro-Palestinian rallies. ASU had one. And then you have people that are saying you can be pro-Palestinian and uh, and not condone what Hamas has done. I agree, you can. But why wouldn't you, if you truly um, are saying we mourn the loss, why aren't you reaching out to the people you know that are Jews and ask and, and saying, my heart is with you? We we don't we disagree with you on the treatment of the Palestinian people. But no one should have their, their babies decapitated and burned. No one should watch their children be taken captive in the street, nor their elderly. We should not see videos of people being gunned down from flying, uh, you know, from uh, paragliders. Instead, you are rallying in the streets in celebration. And there is, I will tell you that I don't believe that all Palestinians are members of Hamas. But look at what this. Look how this the appearance here. So let's. Here's my question. Um, the and it pales in comparison. But we know that at recent memory here in the U.S., uh, January 6th was seen as an insurrection, an attempt to overthrow the American government, and by some people in this country, is seen as the worst thing they've ever seen in our country. Um, and, I, and I think you would acknowledge, if you're fair that there are a lot of people that would call themselves MAGA Republicans that are huge Trump diehard supporters that did not go into the Capitol that day and don't condone people going into that Capitol. They would say, I would be one of them. Now, I'm not a MAGA Republican. I voted for Donald Trump twice, but I am not a sycophant for anyone. Um, I have been critical of the former president when I think it's necessary, and I've been supportive when I thought it was necessary. I don't consider myself a MAGA Republican, but I have said not everybody that is a MAGA Republican that wears the red hat and is believes that Trump needs to win in 2024 and there's nobody else and no other choice, I'm not someone that says that either. But I will tell you that the majority of people did not go into the Capitol that day. I've made that distinction. Do you? Most, you hear a lot of people that hate what happened on January 6th, which I did too, connect anybody that still supports Donald Trump on any level as being a sympathizer and connected to January 6th. Why are you watching these people do this pro-Palestinian? Well, there's a big difference between the Palestinians and Hamas. There's a big difference between Trump supporters and the people that went in that Capitol building. How would you feel if in two, three, four, five days a week after the uh, insurrection, if Trump supporters were rallying in D.C. and around the country, what would you think of those rallies, if there were rallies in support of Donald Trump? Did you think they were way too soon? Did you think it was crass? Did you think that it was unacceptable behavior that in light of what happened in the Capitol building and the lives that were lost and the people that were injured, did you think that it was a horrible, it was in horrible taste that anybody would be standing up and, and going to rallies and showing support at that time? If so, how can you be supportive of these pro-Palestinian rallies? Shouldn't we all be mourning the loss and the murders and the terrorism that happened in Israel? It's this, it, it's the virtue signaling it is uh, the idea that if it's something you hate, it's okay to be hateful towards it. What happened in Israel was one of the most despicable acts of my lifetime. And I remember Line 11 like it was yesterday. And yet you've got people marching in the street, pro-Palestinian, and it's just way too soon, man. We should be mourning the loss of life and the act of terrorism and the complete disregard for humanity. And instead, here we are in a political argument.